Here in Warren County News tonight, the search is on in Middletown for the person who shot and killed a young woman early Sunday morning. Teresa Shields died after shots were fired at the car she was riding in, and her death came just a short time after another young woman died in a car that was being chased by police. Nine on your side's Butler and Warren County reporter Jay Warren is live in our northern newsroom tonight with the story and the latest details. Jay. Well, Shields' death came after that of Mariana Maria Richland of Westchester. Now, they have confirmed that all parties were at the 513 Lounge in Middletown, but beyond that connection, if police know, they're not saying whether the incidents are themselves connected. The 513 Lounge parking lot played host to several gunshots early Sunday morning. Middletown police officers ordered a fleeing vehicle to stop, but the driver didn't comply. Instead, a short pursuit of the car ended here as the car crashed into this wall at St. John's Church. These guys really don't care. That's Stephen Hartman, a local gym owner who is working as an advocate to reduce violence in Middletown. It's not surprising to me that they would shoot up a parking lot with cops sitting there. They're all about, you know, being, you know, beating on their chest, so to speak, and making a name for themselves. Hartman's sources say the group got kicked out of the bar and came back later to retaliate. Then, a while later, came a report of a shooting near the intersection of Wyckoff and Roosevelt. 26-year-old Teresa Shields was a passenger in that car. Both she and Steve Walden, the driver, were shot multiple times. He drove to the hospital and survived. She didn't. Police are looking into whether the shootings are connected. Kelly Lawson lives near the 513. It's messed up, really. I'm mean, at, you know, two people dead over God knows what, you know, at a bar, so it's probably a bar fight or something. For everything to change, is clearly it's going to take time. Um, we're, we're trying to fight a beast that's happening every single day and every single night, and uh, we're putting it together fundraisers and we're reaching out to the community, but we can't be there every single day. Now, police are looking for a white Jeep Cherokee with dark room, rims that might have a connection to the shooting on Wyckoff and Roosevelt. If you have any information on the whereabouts of that Jeep Cherokee or any other information that could help police, call Crime Stoppers at 513-352-3040. And Mr. Hartman there is working on creating a 5K run. He will be working in conjunction with the Middletown Police Department. They're going to take their message of peace right onto the streets. Jay Warren, 9 on your side in the Butler Warren Newsroom.